What's around, everybody? Hope everybody's doing well out there. This is a reading for all signs for your sun, moon, and ascendant for Pisces season. Happy flight day, Pisces. You know, happy day that you were born, Pisces. You decided to be a Pisces. Look at you, right? So, everybody's kind of excited about, you know, spring is about to come around, right? Winter's about to end for those who are living in cold areas or for those who are living in hot areas. Things are about to cool down a bit. You know, people are about to get a little bit more comfortable, right? When Pisces is about to come in here. All right? But meantime, boy, the intuition is high. You know what I mean? The imaginations are flowing, right? Some of y'all may be in an illusion, stuck in one, maybe can't get out. But those of you can get in and get out, then, you know, hey, do what you do. <laughs> right? Pisces. All right, so this is for Sun, Moon, and Ascendants. Um, with your zodiac sign, if you have it in a moon sign, or if you have it in your ascendant sign, you don't know what your ascendant is, or your moon sign is, then just Google your natal chart, and you should be able to find out or get a nice summary. All right, so we're about to get started because these cards want to holla. All right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, you got the Four of Wands. So you're celebrating something, a little milestone, or maybe somebody got married or engaged, or somebody graduated, or somebody is 20th or 30th or 40th or 50th or 60th or 70th or 100th birthday or 120th birthday, whatever. But there's some milestones, baby first tooth, baby first walk, you found out that you were pregnant, you found out what the gender is, um, you have a new new um you're actually going with your goals and you're not just sitting on it no more that's a milestone because for so many years you've been sitting on it but now you're going on to it that's a milestone celebrate that celebrate the milestone of you wanting to clean out your your um, garage or your your home get rid of all the old stuff so the new stuff of 2022 can come to you that's a milestone cheers to that honey here's my glass to clink clink cheers to that so whatever is making you in harmony whatever you feel like you have completed or worked towards and it's, it's at that that final stages and you can actually be like yes you know i did it it's kind of like a relaxation like huh you know you did something you have you did it and now you're reaping the rewards for it and you're sharing those rewards with other people that's close to you you know so uh, whatever milestone it is it could be girl i done cleaned up my whole house today and i done threw away all his stuff or dude, let me tell you, I am child, I done turned my life over, I done did this and did that, and I'm on to a new um, path now. So it could be something like that. It's more of like feeling home, you feeling at home whatever you're doing, meaning that you're comfortable. You know, home is wherever you're comfortable at, you know, wherever you can be your true self at. And that's a wonderful thing because as you can see, it's fruitful, it's harmonious, it's structured, it's stable, it's present, you know, it's real, you know, it's not just some imaginary thing that's going on. And then um, even if it's not something that everybody you share, want to share with everybody it could be, you know, personal celebrations when maybe you lost two pounds you know what i mean that's a milestone right there you know you have some kind of inner harmony where nobody really knows about it because why do you need to share all that you know that's your personal intimate details with yourself and or you know if you're not feeling none of these things you could be going through like a conflict you know within yourself or it could be with other people that's close to you. So if all those things I was saying does not relate to you, and you're like, oh, that ain't me, ah, uh, ah, uh, then you, you're going through some type of conflict. And you know what that is, you know, because it's, it's in your surroundings, it's in your environment. It's people that you care about or people that care about you. You know, even if you have moved on, it might be some things that you haven't, you know, put the rest yet or some, some ends that you gotta, you know, tie up and burn them off and be like, all right, you know, 
done, you know, chapters done, book done, you know, series done, on to the next. And this leads into the transition side. So this also can be a transitional period where you're working towards a milestone, you know, whatever that could be in your life. You know, oh, let me complete one page of something. You know, oh, let me, um, you know, take two steps or one step towards this or whatever. But you're going through these transitions or you're thinking about the transition and you're about to go ahead with it. But Pisces, you got all the juice. So let's go with it. You know what I mean? If you're if you're stalling, don't stall no more. You know, come out the house, come out of your environment and start to go ahead and explore the environment a little bit more. You maybe you're just always stuck in one area. Maybe it's time to get out and go a little bit around the area, you know? And that might give you some ideas in your transition to move on. And this is a transitional time anyway. It's about to be spring. That's why we having all this weather where it's you know, we're about to get a snowstorm in a couple of hours, but right now I'm looking at sunshine, you know, I'm looking at grass, but a couple of hours later, I'm be looking at snow. So some people might be feeling that in their own life. You know, some days you see the sun and blue sky, and some days it's just a blizzard, you know, and they talk about warning, warning, stay away from me because I'm going through a blizzard. And if you got to go through that transition, it's not easy, you know, it's not easy to break out of a shell or to break, you know, from, um, you know, from a seed to break through the, the ground, to break through, you know, the elements to break through, you know, and still survive with the animals around and still grow. And, you know, it's all that. So that transitional stages, even when you're in labor, you know, I tell you, I talk about everything about pregnancy and labor because that's what I do. But that transitional stage is short, but it's the most intense. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So you have a wonderful day and night, Pisces Sun, Moon, Sundays, and enjoy your whole entire month to celebrate. What's around, Aries? Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. What's going on? It's about to be your flight day, your birthday, your born day, you know, your uh, snapshot day, whatever you want to call it, right? The day you chose. So you got 10 of wands, what you working on? You working hard. You working hard for that money. Well, it might not be money, you know what I mean? Because not everything is money. But you could be working on a project, but it's all in. Like, that's it. You all in. You all in. And you putting all your effort into it. You're sweating. There's that sweating emoji. You're panting. You're working hard on something you know and you're doing it by yourself you know go figure right and you're doing it by yourself and and that's okay you okay with that like you're not even worried about that because what you see is the finish line you see it getting done you seeing that house being built you seeing that project getting done you seeing whatever you're trying to manifest whatever you're trying to happen you're not just sitting back and just waiting. No, you going, you you going ahead, and you putting that energy forward, and you have a lot of faith in it. You know, and you're passionate about it. You know, you ain't worried about if it's high noon, and and, and 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 the sun is shining on you, and you sweating, and you ain't take a shower. You know, in two days, because all you've been doing is just passing out and falling asleep, and getting back up and working on your project. But at the same time, you know, still take some time to chill out for a moment, rest some of your, your brain cells, rest some of your muscles, you know, your hands, your feet, whatever. Take a chill pill though, you know what I mean? Especially if you feel like, oh, you're being too burdened or you're being too exhausted, you know what I mean? Release some of that, you know, because even if it is going to be a good outcome once you finish, we are human, you know what I mean? And what human, these these things, you know, it can it can tear us down sometimes because our, our spirit is strong, but the flesh is weak, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like, take some time out, take a breather, take a day off, you know, and sit back. Hey, and you might never, you never know by you just releasing some of the burdens and releasing, you might even want to delegate at some point. You might even want to divvy out some tasks, you know, maybe this um, particular organization or this particular person you know who is good at this, that, and the other, and you feel trusted because this is a passionate project. You feel trusted in that person where you can say, hey, can you take, you know, this 2% load off of me? Maybe you, you're the one doing all the flyers and the drawings or whatever, or um, the writing down or the programming or however it might be. Um, but you know, somebody else has a skill at that and you trust that person because at about this point, we should have an inkling about who we can deal with and who we can't. And if you don't, 
just kind of use your intuition because it's Pisces season. So jump into that intuition and, and feel your way through, swim your way through and ride those waves, right? So Aries, um, definitely keep going what you're doing. If you haven't started a project yet or whatever you're passionate about, this is a great time to do it because your, your, your season is coming up next. So what good way to actually come up with the plan, you know? Even coming up with an idea takes work. You know what I mean? Just to come up with something, especially if you want to get it right. So use it at the time. The energy is there, so why not use it? Have a good day and night, Aries, Sun, Moon, and Ascendants during this Pisces season. With around Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Ascendants, this is your reading for Pisces season. So look at you. You start off the Six of Cups. You, you all living like spring is here already. You fall a lot line during Pisces season. You know what I mean? You all into the past. You back down memory lane and whatnot. You think about your childhood even. Um, giving you some good vibes about your past. And you're just in it, you know. But be careful because this is Pisces season. So yeah, you can stay there and pack all those feel goods of the past. But try to bring those feel goods up into reality to the present you know what I mean and not just live in the past and just live in the past and keep living in the past because you forgot you have a future you know you have a present so kind of bring those leave all the old stuff behind you know not old stuff but all the um stuff that don't make you feel good for your past it's time to get rid of those time to burn those you know it's dead with that but as far as the good childhood memories and if you need that right now to motivate you to be your unique original self, to love yourself, you know, to actually give yourself those flowers because you feel like you deserve it. Yeah, live in the, take, take those good memories from the, the childhood, bring them to the present, and that's gonna also help you with your future as well. Uh, if you're not having fun, it's time to have fun. I don't go get, listen, over here, and I live in the four season area, so we get all four seasons, and right now we get in like a half. In the, right now it's springish, but it's going to be winter in a couple of hours, you know. But while the days are good and the sun is out, or even if the sun is not out, but, you know, it's it's cool enough for you to go to the park. It's not like, you know, muddy or has, you know, like a hassle to go. You know, maybe get on a swing, ride a bike, you know, go back to your whole dominoes, play cards, play uno, play um, checkers, you know, play an old... Mario Brothers game from back in the day, you know, just go there, you know, play with your kids. If you got kids, it'll be a perfect excuse to put down whatever you are worried about and start using some playfulness. But with that playfulness, it's going to bring out more joy in you. You might not feel it right now, but it's going to bring out joy. It's going to bring out the innocence in you. And if you find somebody from maybe your childhood that's coming back in your life, you know, you're having fun with it. You guys are having fun and you're, you're enjoying each other's um, um, company, you know, whether it's a, um, a love relationship or a romantic relationship or, you know, a friendship, you know, just somebody that's just there for you, you know, where now you can look and like, like that could be your brother or sister or like a soul group or a soul family. So yeah, and it feels like, you know, you lived, you, you, you done did something in the past before and now you're reconnecting kind of, kind of stuff, you know? So enjoy that. Have fun with it. You know, don't fight it. Play with it, you know, and keep it light. All right? Have a good one. Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Ascendants. What's around Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Ascendants? This reading is for you. And look at you. You got the Empress card for the Pisces season, okay? So I know you was having fun. I knew you was playing around because this card just came out real playful, okay? I have like some sparkly glitter and stuff here and it just fell right into it. So I'm like, okay, Gemini's out there having a whole lot of fun. Look at her tiara just shining with all constellations and whatnot. She's out there chilling. She is ripe, honey. She is fertile. Anybody pregnant out there? I mean, you know, you might want to check on the loved one or the last person that, you know, you had intimate relations with because this might be happening, okay? And so um, take a look at that. Also, you know, you're looking into the beauty of things. You're seeing the beauty in everything. Like you're keeping it really light. And, and so light that things are coming out of it. Like things are flourishing from you, having this positive lightness about you. Um, and you're connecting with things, you know, you're connecting with, you know, all the elements, you know, and, um, and you're sitting, you're sitting good. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? And you're using the feminine side more, whether you're masculine too. Everybody has a masculine and feminine, so get over it. It doesn't make you less masculine, okay? So maybe you need to bring out that feminine side. Females, maybe you are taking on more of a masculine you know, role and you haven't had time to tap into your feminine side. This would be a perfect time, Gemini, to go get the nails filed, cuticles cut, you know, a nice pedicure, get ready for the spring, the abundance, because if the abundance is here now, the abundance is really, if you keep going, it's really gonna be fruitful once um, Aries and Taurus and Gemini gets here. You know what I mean? So, you know, take care of yourself while you, you are in this stage and it's still kind of you know, um, winter over here, but some weathers is hot, you know, other places, but it's the time to really start taking care of yourself and bringing out your beauty. And, and, and it's going to be a natural beauty. It's nothing that you really can do, but just take care of yourself, whether that's getting more sleep, whether that is going to places that aesthetically pleases you. I don't care if it's a freaking car dealer, but car car dealer turns you on and you like oh and you got googly eyes looking at cars and you just all passionate and then that's what you need to do you know others might you know want to go to some culinary um place where the plate just looks so fabulous that you're just taking a whole bunch of pictures because you just admire you know the colors the textures all that it could be a museum it could just be sitting out at the park and watching just nature go by whatever it is you know that you see the beauty in surround yourself more of that because that's going to rub off on you and it's going to internally make you shine make you glow make you look like that pregnancy glow you know like girl do what you been doing. What protein drink? Why your skin don't clear it up? Right. Because you're doing things that you love, that you enjoy. And that and that's going to bring you fertility within. You know what I mean? Abundance within. For those who are not feeling this way, you're thinking too damn much. That's what's going on. And that's what's causing you to have a creative block. So go take that advice to go out to other things that make you like, wow, I love that. I don't care if it's just looking at houses. Some people might just look at furniture and just love how furniture looks how designs look do that go and do that and that's going to unblock you it's going to be an inspiration an external oh well get it how you can get it it's going to be external but it's going to spark you or it's going to spark something spark something with you however but you know how it goes and then you also might be feeling like oh because this empress card she's she doesn't depend on anybody she she just goes with it honey she she she's standing her own two feet she, she got her own lounge chair, her own pillow, you know what I mean? So she ain't, she ain't needing for nothing right now. So if you're feeling like you got to rely on this person, you got to rely on that person, well, it's time to start, you know, getting it together, you know, so you can be this empress, you know? And a lot of you might be looking for love and looking for to be pregnant and looking for a family and to be fruitful and abundant with, but it all starts with you, you know? So if you can't get that right, then you're definitely not going to attract you know, the emperor or vice versa where the emperor attracts the empress. And you, you get what I'm saying, Gemini? I don't need to go no, yeah, no further because y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, have a good day and night. Sun, moon, and ascendant Geminis for this Pisces season. What's around Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant? This is your reading for Pisces season. All right, so here we go. The Ten of Cups. Everything is harmonious, is balanced, you know what I mean? You might be aligning with someone, you know, or something might be aligning up with you. Um, maybe you had something set up in mind and you've been working on it and it's, everything lines up perfectly. You know what I mean? And you're happy about this alignment. Everything is just like so perfect. Like you're just looking like, whoa, you know what I mean? I actually got this done. And that's a really good thing, you know, because it, you've been using patience. You've been putting in time, you know, you know the purpose of what this mission was, why you, you know, why you had to complete this or start this and get that done, whether it's, you know, for personal businesses, personal business or, you know, your love life, you know. It can even be your home situation, you know, now that, you know, use moderation maybe with your bills and now you finally seeing, you know, everything being balanced and you caught up with your bills because you had used some kind of moderation. You know, the purpose was maybe you wanted to get, you know, a house for your family and now you accomplished that and you're good, you know, cancer. So 
Um, or it can be a love relationship, you know, where finally, you know, you are now reunited and, you know, the, the, the love is complete. You know, like you found each other, you found the house, you found the home, you, you know, you balanced everything, you, you work together, you're aligned together. Um, it could be a business partner, you know, everything is just working just well. You know, on the other hand, if you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know why, you know, this reading is so, you know, uplifting because I don't feel nothing like that. Well, there's an imbalance going on. That's what's going on. You know, something in your life is imbalanced and you already probably know what it is. Or you're doing too much of something, you know, and, you know, the percentage level needs to change, you know, so... Um, you got to find that 50-50 mark, you know. Um, also, you could be doing some self-healing, which is a good thing. Um, where you're going, taking yourself within, and you're actually looking at your life. You might be journaling out there. You might be, you know, looking at other bloggers or YouTubers or whatever. And, you know, starting to figure out, whoa, I'm in, I actually am in, ba in balance and I need to figure things out. Um, and, and it starts with your values, you know. What, what values are you letting go that you shouldn't let go that you need to actually increase those things what things that you need to decrease you know if you have a, a house that's going to smithereens especially for the last since the COVID hit people was already having relationship problem before COVID because it was in the sky but when COVID hit it just really just the, the, the light just shone right on it like oh my gosh we really breaking up, you know, and it could not be a marriage. It could just be a, a relationship. You could get kids from the relationship um, or it could just be, you know, friendship that now is, is, is gone or or whatever it is. But now it's time to to find that balance. If you haven't found the balance, if for those of you have found the balance, keep going. I mean, this is a wonderful thing and a wonderful way, you know, to go through Pisces season as well as, you know, get ready for the transition into the other season of spring. So have a wonderful day and night. What's around Leo, Sun, Moon, and Ascendance? This is your reading for Pisces season. You got the full card. So the zero card. So you just noony, noony, noony along the way, right? And you just, you, you had a, a full moon in Leo and you just on to new beginnings. You are there just spontaneously making arrangements and plans and you go in here, you go in there, but it's with innocence and it's with purity, you know, and you're enjoying yourself and, and those who are dedicated to you and love and support you fully, they're like cheering you on on this journey, Leo. And the, the sun is shining bright, of course, and even though there's mountain and moat hills, you really don't care, you know, your, your faith and your hope and your pride and everything else is so high that you're not even it's not even bothering you about things that you may have to you know go through on your journey you just happy to be on this journey so that's a wonderful thing um for those of you who are like what is she, she talking about no what she talking about my life is a mess it's just up in chaos yup that means you're just making yeah, the, the decisions that you're making are just bringing you down you know it's causing your your life to be ruckus like this person is probably going to fly off the 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 cliff right even though you can't even imagine it but you can imagine it no instead some of y'all leaders is just actually la 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 boof and you like falling over the cliff you know <laughs> i mean the poor dog that went down there to you know the stick don't flew all over the place and whatnot so you're taking a lot of risks you know, and that could be a good thing and that could be a bad thing. So it just depends on the risk, right? So, you know, just be cautious of that for those who already see a pattern of recklessness in their life. And then you're going to continue on that same pattern. No. Okay. It's time for you to just stop right there before you go off the cliff. Stop right there and start looking into things. Don't be naive to things. Really start looking into stuff because this is like an open portal to be discovered. You know what I mean? So don't just, yeah, go along with it. But at the same time, especially Pisces season, have mercy. Yes. You know, do some back research. Make sure you're not in an illusion of things, you know, because it can feel like that during this time. So have a wonderful day and night. Leo, Sun, Moon, the Sentence. What's around Sun, Moon, Ascendant, Virgos? How is everything going out there? You have the swords here. So, 
I don't know what you're doing to yourself. Woe is me. Is that it? Well, just you can't. I mean, that's unacceptable. So take the toilet paper. I call this a toilet paper card. You know, self-victimization. Telling your thing. And it's all mental. Like you're telling yourself that you're not good enough. For whatever it is. Something personal in your life. Um, in, your, in your family life. In your business life. Whatever. You just feel like you're just not enough. And you're a Virgo. Like, how are you not enough? If you feel any doubt, look up people that are doing stuff in life and um, all the Virgos out there. And I guarantee their story is not going to be peaches and cream, but they overcame all that. So this might be a little test for you to see if you can overcome it. Because if you can, there will be benefits, you know, with that, with overcoming and you have no excuse because you have the support there. You know, you have the foundation there. You have the materials that you need. You have everything you need, but you mentally are talking yourself out of it. And that's not a good thing. Um, so get out the illusion during this Pisces season because it, this season can only make it worse. You, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like you have to like smack yourself into reality a little bit and be like, wait a minute, you know what I mean? I am good enough to do this. I am good enough to this. I am good enough. I am enough to start this thing or to do this or continue that or to complete this. All right. So no more self-sabotaging yourself um, during this season, Virgos. And the next time we have a reading, it will be a wonderful, positive reading about how you overcame. Have a good day and night, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, Virgos. What's around Libra, Sun, Moon, and Ascendants? This is your reading for Pisces season. So you want to move. Giddy up, horsey, giddy up. You are serious about that life. You are charging for it. You're very passionate about it. You see the benefits of it all. And look at all that fire. Boy, oh boy. You know what I mean? You're mentally clear about your path and you're going for it you know the horse agrees you're on this adventure you know for for whatever it is and it might be impulsive you might just wake up one day and be like oh you know what <laughs> this is what i'm gonna do and this is where i'm gonna go and you can see the fruitfulness that will come from that decision that you make whatever passion whatever you're putting this energy to and this passion to and this fiery passion as well you know what i mean it's about that action honey so and this could be towards a personal person that you're feeling this could be a project that you're feeling this could be a place that you plan on moving to or um vacation into or whatever the situation is that you're putting all your energy and passion to you might just be working overtime just to get to a certain place you know what i mean so that counts too but if you're not feeling no passion and your passion is dead you know it's because you know instead of the clear skies it's like foggy you know you you're like distracted you know you're disoriented and this is not a good time to be like that libra during pisces season you know it's already enough illusions as it is and delusions already you know what i mean and then to put yourself into that you know scattered thinking energy and that's only going to frustrate you because you want to go but you can't because you can't figure out how to get there you can't figure out the pathways all of the kind of stuff or you could have started a project but you know you, you get frustrated because it's not going nowhere like it's not nothing is happening you're getting frustrated with what you're doing and what you put your time and your energy to and it's just not working for you well don't give up you know this is a perfect time to kind of like draw back from a little bit and just see clearly um get your thoughts clear sit with yourself go in that closet and figure out okay where do you need to go how do you need to do this and plan it out because the knight of wands already planted out you know having a horse and had a whole conversation they done talked about the mountain and molehills they're gonna have to go through they, they ready you know what i mean and they pack it light they're not pack it with a whole bunch of what ifs and woe is me's and all this other kind of stuff and what if this don't happen and what if i take this action and don't happen it's not it's not doing that because wherever it's going to it knows it's going to go into something that's more structured that lasts forever that's like historical you know what i'm talking about so even if it's generation historical like you're the first one to do this out of your family you know you're the first one to do that out of your family you're the first one in your town to do this you're the first one in the country to do that i don't hate taking you're the first one in the world to do this all right go with the libra okay i have a good day and night libras okay this reading is for sun moon ascendant scorpios what's going on 
what surrounds Scorpios. I see some spill cups, some not spill cups. <laughs> All right. So you're looking at something and you're just regretting it. You're just like, oh my gosh, maybe you failed at something. And it might have been like something dealing with the family. Maybe you don't failed your family. Um, maybe it's just like looking at family curses and generational curses and you're seeing how that affects your life. And you're in this woe is me situation. But what you fail to look at is behind you, you still have two cups standing there. You know what I mean? So you have to learn how to like, Forgive yourself, forgive maybe your family, forgive, you know, the situation that you're being hard on yourself and time to move on because that's the only way you're going to get those 10 of pentacles back there where, you know, you, you live in fancy free, you know, and, and everything is set up where your family is structured, your, you have a good foundation, you know, your family has a good foundation after you pass on, you know, the children will have good foundation. So you build a generational wealth. But if you keep stuck on this, woe is me situation, Scorpios, um, however it might be affecting your life, you're not going to be able to move on to those Ten of Pentacles. Or if you do move on, it's going to take you just a little bit longer because it's going to have to first take time for you to heal from whatever that you're disappointed in, whatever that you regret, you know what I mean? And um, maybe you done did something and you just, you know, you wish you had... Um, you know, some kind of um, repentance in this situation or whatever, but you can go ahead and do that. Don't be such a glass half empty type person, you know, turn around, pick up the two cups and keep it moving towards this 10 of pentacles. And for those of you who like, I did the work, I already turned around, I done seen it. You know, I'm not crying over no more spilled milk no more. I don't turn around. You starting to see what benefits is doing by you actually turning around and picking up those two cups and moving on, aren't you? And if you are, comment. And if you're not, comment still because, you know, everybody's going through different stages in their life and they can always play you some encouragement and some, you know, reality what happened to somebody. Oh, I shouldn't say reality, somebody's testimony. Which, which, which was true to them, you know, which is reality to them. So, yeah, turn around, okay? It's a great time, Pisces season, to just turn around, pick up your cups, and start moving, you know, start using your imagination of what could be if you healed, you know what I mean? Start going into that world of what you would look like and what you would feel like if you could just get over, you know, this, this, this um regret you know what i mean all right so have a wonderful day and night scorpio sun moon and ascendance during this pisces season what's around sagittarius sun moon ascendance this is your reading for pisces season so you got the strength card so you coming with it huh you feeling good about yourself you taming your inner beast within you you know what I mean? Even though you might want to go off on somebody at the moment, you're able to refrain yourself. You're not just typing away on social media or texting or DM people and just going off at the mouth and stuff like that. <laughs> you actually have strength to control yourself, and that's a good thing. And by doing that, you're actually being an influence to other people because you're actually, actually you're directing your light towards a positive thing, towards balance, you know what I mean? And you're showing compassion to others by like, you know what, let me not go in because I understand that this person is going this, that, and the other. You know, let me come in a more compassionate way, you know, in a more calmer way, you know, a more wiser way. It's a great time to use your wisdom, Sagittarius. Yes, and just go in there with that strength and that courage, you know, use some of that Leo hashtag hair slip energy, you know, and just go in there and, and do your thing. And you definitely have a lot of persuasion, you know, on your, your side, even though you might be going, you, you might go through stuff, just know that you have the inner strength within you. Always know that you have the inner strength within you and keep reminding yourself over and over and over and over time and time and time again that you know how to tame the beast innerly and outwardly so that means if somebody comes to you in a beastly way you can tame them if you are starting to feel in a beastly way you can tame yourself and other people are gonna be like oh shoot 10 years ago you would have knocked this person out you know what you doing now some of y'all might may need to get some help you know professional help some spiritual help or whatever to figure out how to do both how to um, tame the beast externally and how to tame the beast internally and that way you can kind of balance out yourself 
you also might be feeling like kind of opposite where you ain't got no strength for those of Sagis out there. Like, I just got low energy. I'm not feeling it this Pisces season. You know, you might just be like all up. Like, I don't have no courage. I'm kind of like, what is that? Um, is it Dorothy, the one with the lion, right? So like, you're feeling like that, like the cowardly lion on um, the Wizard of Oz, there you go. All right, or Oz with Michael Jackson and whatnot, right? And Diana Ross, watch that, because you know I got rhythm to it. So, I mean, both of them are good, but you know, he's on down the road. So yeah, you feeling like that lion. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the lion and then see what that is all about. That's you. For those who are in the muck and the morrow and the woe is me type energy and low energy and I can't do nothing and, and blah, blah, blah. Um, and then um, for those of you who are already maintained that and is controlling that and is working on yourself, that's going to take you, oh gosh, that's going to take you way beyond what you can imagine. If you can tame a beast, your beast and other people's beast, how influential is that? You might have to do a YouTube video about how to do that, okay? All right, so have a wonderful day and night, sun, moon, ascendant, Sagittarius. What's around sun, moon, ascendant, Capricorns? This message is for you for the Pisces season. So you got the Queen of Cups. So you are stable, you know what I mean? You're taking care of your business, you're handling, you know, your life situations, you know, your finances and all of that. But, you know, you haven't, you're in some emotional thing here. I don't know what you're emotional about, but something is getting you emotional. Whether it's a, a, a something personal to you, whether it's, um, you know, a love interest that you're into, whether it's um, you're emotional about a business or um, where your life is going, wherever the situation is, you're emotional about something, you know, and um, that could be a good thing and then that could be a, a bad thing. It just depends on how much in a rut you are because right now the water, the emotions is calm. You know what I mean? Those emotions can rev up into two big waves right now um, if you keep um wallowing in any of those emotions you know um and if you keep feeling insecure about things because you are secure you know based on this card but if you feel like you're not secure then you definitely need to gain some security in your life especially being caps you know capricorns i mean yeah i know you feel i ain't got to even say nothing and if you're like depending on other people and all that other kind of stuff to do this and to pay this for you and to take you here and to go there and to, to, to get this deal for you or to do that for you, whatever it is, you know, you're being too codependent. So you might have to take a look at that. You know, this queen here and the queen could be a, you know, male, female, doesn't matter. It's your um, feminine side here could be feeling, you know, like they don't have. They have to rely on other people in order for them to feel good. You know, that's not, that's not, you know, what you should be doing right now, Capricorns. Right now, you, you, yes, you got your security or you're working on your security or you know you have to get your security. But also just maintain your emotional um, um, stability, you know, your emotional intelligence, you know, and to see how you can, you know, be calmer with everything and use your intuition and be compassionate to yourself and others at the same time all right and then once you get that then you can definitely you know instead of looking at the cup or looking at the emotions you can look up and enjoy all the fruit that you done bared you know all the abundance that's around you all right so have a good day and night sun moon ascendance capricorns what's around sun moon ascendant aquarius is this is your reading for pisces season so happy belated flight day happy belated birthday born day the day that you chose to be down here at the exact time and place all right location all of that <laughs> so you got the nine of wands here so yes things are growing yes whatever you're working toward that you're passionate about that your heart is in is actually working you have good courage you have the persistence you know you have the faith you know what i mean and you have the testimony to show and prove that you know what you've been doing has been working you know even if it's just a little bit but you know it can grow you know um up to 100 percent, but you might be at 30 percent or something like that but you can see the potential for it and now people can start to be like yeah you know he was right or she was right or whatever so definitely keep on going you know and any kind of um hurdles or or things like that it's gonna be real easy aquarius you know just it's gonna be real easy you're gonna burn through that 
so easy. So I wouldn't even worry about the mountains and the molehills because what you got going on is really strong and you got many, you know, it's like, a, it's like um, you got a backup to a backup kind of thing. Like, so it's, 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 it's fruitful. And if you are working on something, whether it's personal in your personal life, your love life, your business life, your home life, whatever the situation is, you know, it's definitely working out, you know, for you. So keep up, um, have courage within yourself, you know, have that courageousness about you, that persistence, that drive, you know, that you know you can be, that you be in your unique self. And just because everybody else ain't doing it don't mean that you ain't got to do it because you already know that it's going to bring you stability. It's going to it's gonna be abundant. You know what I mean? Where you're going to look back and be like, wow, I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I, I went with that, that, that. Um, that gut, that intuition or whatever. Um, if you are a Chris out there and you're like, I don't know what she's talking about. That's not me. Yada, yada, yada. You know, you could be having a project that you're not doing right now. You're just sitting on it. You know, you're just on delay mode, on pause mode. And it could be getting to you because Pete, you could have been talking about it to somebody like two years ago and you bump it to them like hey whatever happened to that girl or hey whatever happened to that project or hey whatever happened to you know da -da 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 -da, this idea that you had about that and you get in defense man why are you all up in my business I don't know. or whatever or you be just playing nice in front of them but then when you get in the car you like man why they all nosy and whatnot knowing that they don't push the button you know what i mean because you know that you were supposed to be doing some things and supposed to write you know or maybe somebody saw something in you and you know they look like disappointed when you speak to them and you ain't got nothing going on you know what i mean it's like ah oh, man or you could be beating up yourself too where you feel like um it's kind of some kind of like paranoia you know where you trying to keep up with yourself and it's hard for you to keep up with yourself and you know it's getting you frustrated and aggravated and all that kind of stuff and it might even get you into some delusions and illusions um, I don't know if it, you know, maybe drugs or alcohol or something like that might might have you a little foggy um, with everything that's going on. But you know, you snap out of it. We just got out of Aquarius season. You know, we're about to end. You know, this these um, the season here and go into another season, a transition season. So you are going through some type of transition stage. But you see the benefits of it if you keep going. You know that that path, having courage with yourself. You know, um, having faith within yourself. You know, it can just be a drop of faith, honey. That's that's hey, it'll get you too. It's better than not having no faith at all, and just being resistant. You know, to everything. It's just kind of like a plant who can grow in the desert. Do you, do you know what I mean? It's kind of like that. You gotta have that kind of mentality. Like, how is a plant? That can actually be medicine. It can actually feed um, this type of um, population. You can use it to do clothes. You can use it for this. You can use it for summer. Whatever situation is. And it's thriving. And it only gets like 2% rain per year. Whatever the situation. Right? That's what you need to be. Alright? That's what Aquarius needs to be. It's going to be a little tough because Uranus is in Taurus. But just keep on pushing. And Uranus don't like to be in Taurus. Alright? It wants to be unique. It wants to be its own thing. Do its own thing. But, you know, right now, yes, you do that. But then you also have to, you know, keep going. You know, even when others don't see it, you have to keep going because you are Aquarius. They're not going to see what you can see until it's already done. And they go, oh, now I see it. Too late. <laughs> have a good one. Have a good day and night, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant.